ourselves in this conversation. Karibu to the show, Reverend. Thank you very much. Very glad to have you here. Glad to be here again. All right. Yeah. Um, how are you doing mentally? Um, <laughs> I'm doing fine, uh -huh. quite well. I think uh, this is one of my best time mm -hmm. uh, being here because my last weekend was one of the best. I just received a great friend, mm -hmm. uh, one of my mentor, mm -hmm. uh, and a father mm -hmm. uh, from the U.S. And we stayed, we we, we spent like a week together. Uh, his name is uh, Father Coffrin, mm -hmm. and uh, so I feel so good. Like even celebrating Father's Day, you mm -hmm. know, we just had oh, a yeah. father, Father's Day on Sunday. All right. Uh, so uh, I'm a proud father okay. of. Uh, Three. Congratulations thank to you. that. Thank yeah? you, thank and you. happy belated uh, Father's Day. <laughs> yes. All right, welcome to the show. Please introduce yourself to the viewers who might not be aware of who you are. Uh, my viewers, uh, good morning, Kenya. Uh, my name is uh, Reverend Eddie Gadangi Waiguru, uh, here from uh, Gidungori. I know Gidungori is hitting news nowadays. And uh, yeah, I would say, I'll start even by saying we are proud of uh, our place. Uh, and uh, yeah, as my good brother here had uh, said uh, about my profile, I do mediation. I have a program that uh, is helping the young people, especially empowering them, giving hope uh, to those who are uh, de getting depressed, uh, or even opportunities mm -hmm. if, if, if they are there to uh, have some jobs. So. That's all we do. We also do ministry, uh, helping people because when somebody is uh, has a vacuum in him, especially the spirit, the spiritual part of the of yourself, mm -hmm. if you have if it's it's, it's empty, you realize that uh, many things will go wrong. So I think uh, that is one of the area that is making our young people really get into all those uh, issues we have had them talk mm -hmm. because many of them have stopped going to church they start they have stopped thinking of uh, their their spiritual part mm -hmm. yeah. all right looking at that video which we um just sampling a few views from uh, men in out there in the streets most of the issues they point out when they are saying they're not well mentally yes. are financial Yes. Um, you ask someone, how are you doing, how are you doing mentally? I say, I'm stressed in a pesa. Mm. Um, financially, I'm struggling. Mm. Uh, I realize it's mostly around economic activities. Is this a case? Are men, are, is, is men's mental health, you think, mostly affected by their economic situation? Or there are other factors maybe that uh, are contributing to that as well? Uh, very, very true. Uh, mm. Money could uh, be one of the factors. Mm. But for me, it's not even somewhere in the primary factors. Uh, because and I would say that is what has been taught to us mm. even when uh, we were growing up not, not, not when we were growing up when we have grown up and uh, like uh, we used to go to the schools I used to realize something that was uh, those days I used to feel so bad and this is has come to reality you know mm. when when I was in primary school we used to go and enjoy games uh, we play football or in other language soccer mm -hmm. and other games <laughs> And we used to enjoy ourselves very much. We would get back into the class sweating, mm -hmm. uh, not even minding. But today, uh, or several years back, uh, you go back to school, to those primary school, and you find kids playing football. But when mm. uh, you win, they go, they take uh, the money. Mm. So I said, no, this is... Uh, it has was, lost the joy. Yes, it has lost the joy. Mm -hmm. And I think that has also introduced now people to think life is all about money. Okay. Yeah, I have vi uh, interacted with many, many friends, many people, and even in my own family, mm -hmm. they, the first thing they ask is, how much are you making? Mm -hmm. Like uh, even uh, as you are doing the other show with the other gentleman, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Gutu, mm -hmm. and I really appreciate the first show mm -hmm. uh, since it has lessened most of the things <laughs> that is a Melezea Mamboya mental health now in a scientific way. Mm -hmm. So now we don't have to dwell very much into On that. Science. So mm -hmm. I was with a gentleman. I think he's coming next, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, we were trying to say what motivates you, what brings you. Uh, makes you alive every day mm -hmm. and many people would say I'm waking up to go and look for some extra coin mm -hmm. some extra money mm -hmm. but I think uh, if you do that especially today when there is no money even the government the executives has no money they say so uh, I think we should change that it's not easy mm -hmm. but if we do deal with these two things mm -hmm. and this is what I brought to this show today right about 
the issue of hopelessness. Mm-hmm. So if you you don't have hope, you are hopeless. Mm-hmm. And then the issue of uh, being impatient. Mm-hmm. So uh, those are the two main areas that I would love us to to, to share with with my other co- comrades, mm-hmm. the, the, the the other men mm-hmm. that. Uh, uh, when you you lose hope, mm-hmm. even when you are going to look for that money, out of it, 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 beca- it, it even runs away from you. Okay. But if you 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 hope you hope for something mm-hmm. that you know uh, today I'm going to I wake up I prepare myself I'm going to meet this kind of a person I'm going to kutegea uh, mahali mm-hmm. maybe kwa joint na ukona hope mm-hmm. where in your mind it's hope. I think things will come up, mm-hmm. and then the issue of uh, patience. All right. Uh, as you said about um, uh, traditionally, mm-hmm. uh, you know we have to base ourselves where we have come from, where we are heading to. Yes. Uh, we used to realize that uh, those years uh, when we were very young and before, uh, many things didn't have to, to happen in a single uh, second. Mm-hmm. Like today, if you want to put on light, mm-hmm. you just go to the wall and and switch it on. And, and switch the whole it on. Is lit. But but mm-hmm. when uh, when we were growing, when we were very young, people had you had to do a lot to have the whole process. The whole it. process. That they used to use the fire. Kabra yo yo moto yuake. Even the days before, they were kunkuwa na kiberiti. So before we figure so your that that stick, that mm-hmm. stick mm-hmm. and then uh, and all the issues, majiaku, even the water. People used to have go, instant showers. Yes, they have, used to go very far to the river. Mm. Uh, so there was that uh, concept. Yeah, you are being prepared that it, nothing comes easy. easy. So you are able to be patient. Mm-hmm. But today, because of how we have been brought up, now this generation is mm-hmm. Najita Generation Z. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to Najita. <laughs> Najita. <laughs> for, right. for, for, for me, I'm the, even, the TikTok generation. For me, I'm even telling, <laughs> saying in quotes, and forgive me for this. Mm-hmm, it's okay. Oh, you know, Z is the last, uh-huh. the last, the last, uh, genera- uh, the last, last letter uh, in the uh, alphabet. In the alphabet. Mm-hmm. So I think it's also the last generation that has all these problems. <laughs> uh, I, yes. I, I That's have a hope. positive note. <laughs> uh, okay. You yeah. have hope that the uh, hope is the other generation after Z is alpha, uh, and alpha is bringing up new things. So, so all these problems we are mm-hmm, having, mm-hmm, we will not have them mm-hmm. with the alpha generation. Inshallah. Yes. That we shall get there. <laughs> now, you said that uh, we need to pick a few things, yeah? Yes. Uh, including patients from, you know, where we've come from, mm. how our ancestors, our forefathers were like, Nothing comes easy. Yes. Are we saying that now men have lost hope and uh, patience in this current era? Very, very true. Mm-hmm. That you you want something now. Mm-hmm. If you are going to look for a job, you want when immediately somebody gives you a job, uh, even before you do the work, <laughs> you have what? Mm-hmm. You Kidogo. have the money. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have deposit. A, Kidogo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and this has even given myself mm-hmm. a lot of uh, problem uh, since uh, I've been the, in the school mm-hmm. most of my life. Mm. Almost three quarter of my life, just in the last few, maybe three, three, four months, mm-hmm. three, four years, mm-hmm. and it, getting even into employment is very hard. Mm. So when you go out, you spend the day looking for what to do and what, and when you come back home, the first question: How much have did, you made? Have you made? Mm. Now you ask. <laughs> <laughs> the money does not just come. You see, the, the concept day. people have about money, mm-hmm. that you, 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 you have to come back yeah. with it. So uh-huh. for me, about that, about that issue of having hope, mm-hmm. like whatever I do, I do for those years, mm-hmm. I believe it has been like planting a seed. Mm-hmm. This is, uh, you, you believe that anybody, any person, person you meet, even if you go to an interview and whether you get it or not, mm-hmm. n- just know that you have planted what a seed. A seed, and just like any other seed, when you 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 put you put it, you cover it. Mm-hmm. It dies for some time before it it shoots. Mm-hmm. So I believe for those years, uh, it, I have been planting what a seed, and mm-hmm. it will grow. Mm-hmm. And when uh, a seed, the, the 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 more time it takes. Mm-hmm. The, the better and the sweeter the fruit and the, the longer you enjoy you cannot compare a seed of a, a corn mm-hmm. or maize and a seed of a, of a, 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 um, a mango mm-hmm. a mango seed a mango seed would keep we take a lot of time to to sprout mm-hmm. but then you enjoy mangoes for many men and they are sweet mm-hmm. but for uh, maize or bean mm-hmm. It just grows after two Very days. Very fast, and I come back after two days. It's indeed, that's it. <laughs> yeah. So for, uh, that's that's my my, my encouragement right. to young men that the more the seed, 
uh, stays mm -hmm. the better and how the future will be will be sweet right these days they call it nyota uh, so mm -hmm. kama nyota yako bado haijaonekana <laughs> uh, maybe it's your seed that is taking time don't, yes, yes. don't be a mango seed that is looking at the maize seed <laughs> yeah, exactly. and, and wondering why mine isn't uh, sprouting up yet yeah. when we're speaking about hope and uh, you know putting it into context with uh, the current events yes. um, in, in the Republic. Mm. Um, I wanted us to talk about theology a little bit later, okay. um, but uh, let me just, uh, uh, let's, let's tease it there a bit. Okay. We've seen a couple of guys, not a couple, mm. hundreds of people who yeah. have recently been found in a very tricky spiritual situation over in the coastal region, mm. where some of them have starved to death, uh, some of them, you know, they were seeking God. They were, they, they were seeking hope beyond the current lifetime. Mm. Uh, what does this picture paint for you in terms of uh, the mental health condition? Is it somehow related, mm. or how does now the spiritual part of mental health uh, mental health uh, come into play? Uh, great. Mm -hmm. And to answer this, allow me to uh, also quote a great friend. Mm -hmm. uh, social media sana, one mm -hmm. of the pastors, uh, is, mm -hmm. sana, is Pastor T. Ah, Pastor T. And he, he once said that whoever manages the young generation mm -hmm. has the future at hand. Mm -hmm. So if you manage the young generation, you have what? The future at, the your future hand. at, mm -hmm. at hand. Mm -hmm. And I see when I take that uh, concept, I relate it to what I have learned from other uh, religions, like the, the Chinese, mm -hmm. the Hinduism. Those people, uh, they have a concept of forever. Life, is, uh, life will continue even, uh, uh, even after 100 years. So you see, you see your life, not today, but 100 years yes. to come. Mm -hmm. And that's why they, they, they are very innovative. They grow, they develop, because they are not just seeing today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. They are seeing Mere, life beyond, life beyond mm -hmm. even beyond ourselves. Mm. But what has been brought to us now as uh, as Christians is every time we are being told, uh, when you go to church, pray as if this is your last, your last time, your last time. <laughs> when you are praising, when you are dancing, do it as is, as if it's your last mm -hmm. time. So we have never been given in our minds. We have never been told about preparing for our future mm -hmm. here or not mm -hmm. because god brought us here for our purpose mm -hmm. and he wants us to uh, to prosper to to live a fulfilled life mm -hmm. but when we have other people like pastors coming to just tell you about today mm -hmm. and tomorrow uh, anything can happen today and tomorrow you are you you, you are dead you're going to meet uh to meet your your creator same, right. or, or your your tormentor satan mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that one even makes you not to even to think mm -hmm. because all you are thinking about so right. uh, i think that's one of the thing mm -hmm. if we can remove that from our minds mm -hmm. that uh, just live God gave you this life to come and live here or not. When it is your time to live, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so stop thinking about what will happen or the day you will die. Yeah, just like myself, mm -hmm. I, I even give myself almost, I have a life plan of 150 years. That's so, a long plan. Yes. So I believe, and I know one time we will come in, in such a show. Yeah, in 200 we, years. No, 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 no. <laughs> Whichever <laughs> year. But this, this is even this. Not, not taking long. Okay, okay. I'm very sure we are, I, I, I'm going to see a, a united African continent mm -hmm. without borders. Boundaries. Mm -hmm. All right. That, uh, like, uh, I just uh, came from the U.S. and I had a, I was privileged to uh, drive yeah. myself. I came from the last state in mm -hmm. Maine, mm -hmm. went through, although I used to have several stopovers, mm -hmm. I've driven from the last state, Maine, uh, all the way to Seattle, mm -hmm. uh, the other side. How many hours is that kind of journey? Uh, okay, it can take several days, okay. not even hours, but I would take even like a month okay. or two because uh, when you get to a certain state, you have some Kenyan friends, they would uh, invite, invite you, you, host you for a couple of days, mm -hmm. some even a couple of weeks. Other state, I would go and uh, uh, maybe use the phone, Google. Mm -hmm. I see some shelters uh, where people, homeless people do. And I would just go and uh, pretend to be one of them. And I would stay in a shelter, those mm -hmm. people of homeless, and be with them. Mm -hmm. And that's where I got my little, uh, uh, my eyes open. Mm -hmm. And I realized that's where, where 
even after going all those studies, philosophy, mm -hmm. theology, I thought it was studying to know about God. Mm -hmm. But when I stayed with those homeless in the shelters, that's when I realized where God lives. All right. Yes. That's a profound statement. So my answer to that question is, uh, though all these issues, Shakahora and what, is because of wrong, wrong uh, doctrines. R wrong doctrines. Yes. My, my answer to is, you are born, you are created, you are brought into this world, just relax. Let God uh, take control. He, right. he created you for a good reason. He has a, a good purpose for you, to proper you, to, to take you to greater heights. Mm -hmm. yeah. Live and let live. Thank I think you. that's uh, yeah. how they usually put it. Yeah. Let's get back to, um, you said we call ourselves Gen Z, right? Mm -hmm. And um, some say it's the TikTok generation. Mm -hmm. um, before there was a dot com one, I think it's the one that's birthed the, uh, the new TikTok generation and Gen Z. Mm -hmm. Is social media a part of um, challenges that uh, men are going through in terms of uh, mental health. Maybe, you know, um, I'm seeing Reverend Eddie was just last month in Maine driving across 50 states. <laughs> and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking through his social media. Do you think this is, social media has uh, also contributed towards this fire? Yes, a lot, a lot. And uh, even in my interaction with many Kenyans mm. uh, abroad, I realized uh, these cases we are seeing here, they are also there. Mm. Uh, we have had many people committing suicide, very many people even getting depressed, uh, dying, and others being even deported to their country. Just because of that, peer, uh, social media, you are seeing uh, not just uh, the people you live with, mm -hmm. even like you went to the US and uh, you are looking back to your classmates here in Kenya, and you see somebody has uh, put up a house, mm. has bought a nice car, and you are still there <laughs> hustling. <laughs> hustling. Mm -hmm. Because life is not just very easy mm -hmm. also on the other side. Mm. Uh, so it, it has contributed. It's a great uh, factor to, to that. And other things uh, allow me to just uh, uh, produce through some sure. of the many, some of the few issues that has escalated the mm -hmm. issue of mental health okay and the first one i would start with the upbringing mm -hmm. um the upbringing of our kids and i was sharing with some other visitors who had come home mm -hmm. uh, with the generation gen z mm -hmm. that uh they have been brought up by this uh, generation y i see myself as y so i tell them uh because of what we went through, the upbringing we were brought, we were ready to go to Chapwa, Nini Nini, Hash, Kumbu and Dema, Maji, Kumtoni, Kuch, Kuchuna Kahawa. But after now, we didn't want our kids to go through the same. Mm -hmm. So we have given our kids everything they need. So, Akitaka Kitu, Akita Kutu, Kwa shopping, I need this, Ukitaka phone, take this. So everything is very, very easy. Mm -hmm. We have employed uh, house helps for them, the nannies. So for them, it's just... Life is a breeze. Life is a, so when somebody, I mean, through the school, primary school, secondary school, even campus, and now he's on his own. And I said, huh? I thought life would be like the way I was brought up. Mm -hmm. So immediately, that thing takes you immediately to the, mm -hmm. to the mental uh, disorder mm -hmm. because now you don't know where to start. You cannot even clean your own clothes. You cannot cook for yourself. So, so that's one of the, one things, of those, uh, one of the great things. Mm -hmm. And also the issue of, uh, as we are talking about parenting, mm -hmm. parenting has also played a big role. Mm -hmm. And we are seeing the rise of uh, absentee. Uh, I know a day will not end without you hearing somebody saying baby, baby daddy, daddy, baby absentee daddy, fathers baby, and baby mama. Uh -huh. I think that's one of the things also that has been glorified, even by churches so unfortunate, mm -hmm. but it was not the will of God. And that's why even when Jesus was being born, God made sure that there, there was a father figure for him. Mm -hmm. Even if Jesus was born from the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. but there was Joseph. You see? Father figure. The father figure. Mm -hmm. It's very, very important. And somebody, I was just hearing somebody says that uh, father-son relationship is very important. And if it lasts, it can cause a lot of pain. So most of the people who are going through a lot of pain is because they lacked mm -hmm. that father figure. Not necessary to have a father, mm -hmm. because there are those who, but a father figure. You can have maybe an uncle, mm -hmm. or maybe you are a woman, you have your brothers. Mm -hmm. uh, you should let your brothers 
Oh, just be free with your kids. Mm. Let them uh, let play them a fatherly role. Let, let them play their father law. If if you need it is some discipline, mm -hmm. don't fear. Don't don't even go to them. Hey, you do do you think uh, these are not your kids? <laughs> you see, mm -hmm. uh, because mm. some of uh, these generations said they are very protective to their kids, but they think they are they are helping them mm. in a way. They are just spoiling them. That's why we are seeing even the cases of suicide mm -hmm. increasing from people who are very young. I, you would be surprised the number of uh, suicide cases in primary school mm. is, is in another uh, rise. Unashindo wa mtoto wa mechi, ata wamefikiriaje mambo ya? Yeah, suicide, yeah, suicide. anashuaje vile inafanywa. It's in the mm. area, so that's why mm. I would say that's one of the things. The other one is poverty. Mm. I won't explain much. That's hiyo ni kitu, kila mtu anaelewa. Mm. Uh, wakati wa campaign or before, just a few years ago, tulikuwa tumesikia hiyo narrative ya mambo ya dynasty na hasra na mm -hmm. nini. But I'm seeing now, people are becoming one. They're yeah. talking one language of <laughs> poverty. Poverty. <laughs> Tunaumia sote. <laughs> Tunaumia sote. Mm. Na, na, na mi nafikiria, it's a, it's a way, hata tunambua gold passes through fire. Mm -hmm. So we are We're being refined. We are being refined. Mm. So whatever will come out after this is, 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 is super. Mm -hmm. So that's poverty. The other one is about uh, social media. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned I was sharing with you, I had yesterday, uh -huh. nikiwa kwa kinyozi, uh -huh. uh, nikasikia news jioni, uh, wakisema kuna news that they, they, are, they are soon coming to be a solar, eh, no, internet eclipse. Mm -hmm. Nona venye, uh, sometime hakunanga light nights mm -hmm. during the day because something has blocked mm -hmm. uh, this uh, sun, and moon, earth. and the earth. Mm -hmm. So imagine a, a, an internet eclipse. Mm -hmm. So, and they were saying like for six months, without internet mm. can you survive that would be depressing for a lot of the gen z uh, yeah <laughs> it could be everyone I, I don't think i would survive because most of my life i think 70 percent or so is based uh, off all around the internet yes yes uh, uh, and, and i want to share something a bit uh, humorous i don't mm. know how you take it that, <laughs> it's uh, okay do it yeah <laughs> that uh, um even sharing from that those young people uh -huh. and the issue of internet connectivity networking mm. so i would say god first of all gave us a ne very nice network mm. on a network mm. Now that to put sana and the areas. <laughs> I know many people would wonder. No, this, I see. Well, we're find any new we're gonna find <laughs> 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 So, okay, great story. Those yeah. young people. Yeah. Anyone who is completely saved, I don't get my shida. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a kata nini? I'm a shakata in your area. Area network. In your area. In a shikanisha, in a fanya, it can also help the issue of. Uh, mental health. Yeah. Okay, those people who are really positive mm. and they were seeing things that uh, people are not going to dread you, not going to dread you, not going to dread you. Minim to positive, sir. <laughs> that's it. So uh, yeah. uh, that, that's something. That's uh, one of those. Uh, you know, mm. uh, there are people who came and told us if you want to be smart, if you want to be, you have to clean, mm. clean everything. Clean head. But they had a, they had a motive. Mm. They wanted, because when you are put into jail, like the first thing, yes, so mm. that you don't think right, mm. think straight. So, shaving your hair <laughs> has also contributed. <laughs> yeah. And I, I have also liked the, 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 the narratives, mm -hmm. and there are people who have even gone to, to the media, even to courts, to say that even in schools, Mm -hmm. uh, people should be allowed to to have hair to have to keep their hair. Mm. Why do you think other races uh, have been keeping ha their have hair. kept their hair? Mm. Because it's very important. Mungu mm. akuyeka just for that. The man who linya Samson. So you to manage the other things. Um, uh, peer pressure. You to manage like uh, you 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 are measuring your life about about the other people. Yeah, other people. Unaona vinyo na dere na we we dere. Unaza unaza kuwa depressed. Unaza kujidalao. The issue of divorces mm -hmm. they are in increase. Mm -hmm. uh, and why? Maybe uh, that will be a topic of another day. Yes. And uh, then the issue of deaths. The okay. main Christiana, uh, people are just getting into the place. Mm, right. Yeah. Now, uh, Reverend, let's speak about Mama Ubuntu. Yes. How does that play in now in terms of uh, helping people and also a bit of uh, mental health? Okay. Uh, great. So as I said, we have a program uh, called Mouse. Uh, Mouse is uh, Mama Africa, Mama Africa Ubuntu Shelter. As you have heard, it's about a mother, a place where, you know, a home, a home can never be a home without 
a mother. Mm -hmm. uh, we, people may even make jokes that if you find a husband or a, a man in the house and you immediately you get in he akikusalimia na kwambia karibu sana lakini uh, enema tire kuo mm. the owners are not <laughs> they are yeah, not around they are not around mm. because mm. a mother is a, is a very important aspect in a in mm -hmm. a home mm -hmm. and then africa africa uh, as i said uh, one of the reason why we have remained as uh, is a developing of poor nations mm -hmm. is because of lack of that unity mm -hmm. uh, we need to be really united mm -hmm. and, and so i look uh, i see a future where we will be one that you can even you don't have to uh, your mind can think after i finish school i'm going to uh, to to to, sh to settle mm -hmm. in maybe kampala in uh, lagos in uh, south africa mm -hmm. you see when your mind is like that you 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 even this issue of uh, mental health mm -hmm. uh, you, you won't even have time Mm -hmm. to think about the, the suffering mm -hmm. you are thinking when will i travel mm -hmm. to that other country what are the opportunities in those other countries mm -hmm. so that's why that issue of uh, ubuntu and africanism is coming from right. ubuntu is the issue of living together togetherness together as, as the way the people lived in the village mm -hmm. they used to share hata kama una sukari kwako na kuja na kuomba although sijui kama leo una mtu anaweza kupea sukari some help uh, yeah, yeah. yeah so that's it and mm -hmm. uh, the our uh, it provides shelters for the homeless mm -hmm. uh, the rejected and those in need of uh, strategizing their life you know mm -hmm. we bring people who uh, the government has done something good mm -hmm. to regulate and do this issue of the fight about about illicit brew mm -hmm. they have closed those bars mm -hmm. in vijana used to go in the morning but uh, the question is now you go to the street and you find men just there seated right that's they, true yes they, they are even at a worse situation mm -hmm. than they were before in the, in the because uh, they would leave home go into those dens drink uh just forget themselves mm. but now they are there they are sober they have nothing to do mm -hmm. uh now they start even thinking of even other evil things mm -hmm. going to rob and all this mm -hmm. so we we realize there there is a big gap in that and mm -hmm. that's why we have this program mm -hmm. to empower those youths to give them skills mm -hmm. uh skills like uh, I'm, I'm working with another great man mm -hmm. who is a great producer in gedongori town mm -hmm. we use to invite for uh, a seat mca seat in uh, Kiam, kamba mm -hmm. but uh he he's, i think he was on the wrong side of the politics mm -hmm. he was in azimio and ratra <laughs> but he, he would be the best what the MCA best ca that. candidate mm -hmm. he would uh, by now i am very sure that area of kamba and gedongori as well would be having uh, some industries mm -hmm. and uh, job opportunities would be Mm. realize so those right. are some of these we are working with him another another person called Jesse mm -hmm. is he helps very many people he goes to, along in schools uh, empowering young people telling them about their future mm. and uh, so I hope you will get another a chance to come and talk to them they are very young and very energetic uh, good-minded mm, uh, young, young people young people I, I hope they're watching the show I'd, I'd love to have them of course yes, yes. Um, to come through here and that's a, a small brochure that we are showing yes of uh, your initiative that is mouse yes uh, and how can people then people who need help that you've mentioned the kind of services that you offer yeah. how can they get to you and what can they look forward to okay thank you very much so uh, if you anyone would want to have those services if you have young people who have lost hope if you have young people who are jobless who have uh, gotten into issue of alcoholism and all those things reach to us we are on the ground first of all if you come to gidongori as i said uh, is one of the historic place so even what is happening politically with our mp gary going to the parliament it's not his own her own uh, making mm -hmm. yeah she she is representing the real uh asla no no not 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 used as okay. <laughs> i thought because, that's where you're going because that, little, no that word has, been has already made, been gentrified uh, yes yes yeah, yes okay <laughs> <laughs> so we are proud of our mp uh -huh. let me say that okay and then uh so we are in gidongori uh a place called keria mm -hmm. just next to keria high school yeah uh, and then we also have an office in Kiambu town mm. just next to the stage where we have Deacon Courage mm -hmm. you can meet us and anyone who want to reach us maybe on phone mm -hmm. uh, I would I would share the phone number 0743276628 other social networks I go by the name Kunta Kinte 
I don't know whether you've ever heard that name. Yes, this all, famous live. Yes, all <laughs> my not <laughs> king. I, yes, uh, he would king call, him, he call him slave because yeah. he refused. <laughs> he refused to become a, a slave like any every other. Yeah, so that's true. all my social media, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, you'll find Kunta Kinte. Yes, the second all because right. the first one was there. Okay. So all those uh, let's let's connect let's mm -hmm. join hands i will call anyone mm -hmm. who would really have that uh, vision mm -hmm. of helping the young people uh allow me to just share just two people that uh i had uh, contact with them mm -hmm. and one is our speaker in uh Kiambu county mm -hmm. uh, when he was vying for the mp we sat together and he used to give me his uh, uh, four four big agenda mm -hmm. the big four and mm -hmm. one of them was this, as the youth and the issue of uh, joblessness and whatever mm -hmm. so i know uh, now that he's in a busy seat uh, he, we can also work together and another one i uh, let me not mention him his name but he's a, a great uh t presenter in mm -hmm. the in this big in, uh, media thank you yeah so thank oh, you very much <laughs> I, I thought that was me <laughs> <laughs> the big presenter yeah, yeah, I took yes. that up. so uh, <laughs> uh so he, he he told me he was going to, when he was going to have uh this uh uh what uh celebration of his 16 years in the media industry uh, industry mm -hmm. and he had a very big uh, ceremony mm -hmm. people came all over the country mm -hmm. politicians you know it was during the time of, and he told me uh, come uh, i want us after this ceremony i want to start a foundation that can help the young people mm -hmm. and uh, so uh, maybe uh, along the line uh, you know people have different views uh, advisors mm -hmm. so maybe they told him don't go that mm, route yeah. uh, let us look for another route but i know their hearts those two people their hearts are into helping our young people mm -hmm. they are back there in our place in Gedongori in Kiambu county mm -hmm. so let's all people join hands our politicians our women rep i know he's he has been to that that was his uh, campaigning tool mm -hmm. and our roko mca chiefs this is something we need to join hands okay it is not something that can be done by one person all right anyone who has a, a view uh, an idea let's join hard because mm -hmm. uh, if i have one minute uh, i also uh, in uh, i also work in a uh, transport industry mm -hmm. we have a, a very good circle in kiambu uh, town mm -hmm. called new life and we have a chairman uh, mr kim i know he's also watching and he's helping very many young men and, and nowadays the ladies are even coming into tuk if you come to kiambu you find many tuk tuks with with women mm -hmm. so this chairman has really organized and every uh, once in a while he organized some forums where these drivers can come they can be talked about alcoholism about empower, about saving mm -hmm. and so uh he is helping he's playing his role okay. and so one time when i was driving mm -hmm. i drive tuk tuk some time mm -hmm. so you would, you would be surprised <laughs> if i yeah my passenger and <laughs> someday I, and yeah. I, I used i would take some officials mm -hmm. to schools for who are doing mental health going mm -hmm. to talk to to kids and i was surprised when they told me most of the school they would go mm -hmm. they would be taken back they would be told no here yeah, we, we don't uh, we need some this documentation and all and i asked these school people instead of realizing who these people have brought and help and assisting them if they need some anything any document mm -hmm. they should help them to get to so get that them. the kids can uh, benefit mm -hmm. from these officers who are going they are volunteering to go to schools and talk to the kids about mental health all right yes. thank you very much uh, reverend there was a comment here uh, margaret githui watching from kirigiti um, great show listening and learning congratulations to eddie so those are people who are watching from kiambu county in kirigiti blair masharia watching from kisumu shout out to eddie waiguru as well thank you very much yes reverend eddie for creating time for us today okay we'll be loving to have you another time i know time has not been uh, <laughs> on our side today it's 9 20 in the morning yes. there's another conversation coming up on uh, what is happening in the headlines but some other time we'd love to um have you here for some more yes okay and uh this a book i authored in the year 2014 i hope i'll get a, a new edition so that we can now put in the things of the current affairs thank you all right yes Biashara tuesday talks a short break kimani washira president outgoing president of the tvet student association is here already he has the papers with him and i also do have my copies let's get to know what is happening politically economically and also how it will influence biashara this coming week stay tuned